Well, hello there. It is Wednesday. My dudes, my people, y'all. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. We're here with Chrono Trigger. Potentially, very probably, the very last of the Chrono Trigger streams. Uh, we've got some stuff to do. Some things to see. Some bosses to kill. A lot of bosses. Ah, oh, that's the good stuff. Well. Uh, nothing left to it but to do it, I suppose. Let us uh, jump into it. Yo, Sarcasmosis, what's up? Do me a favor, let me know if you are hearing uh, any background noise. I may need to ferme la porte. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's see. Uh, let's do this. Oh, up, 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 up. It's been, uh, it's been a long journey up to this point. We have traveled through time on numerous occasions, numerous timelines. We've been judged for our actions. And it is time to bring them to a close. Let's go. The faded hour. We are on the Black Omen. 22 hours into it. Level 47, level 49, level 47. Marl at 999 HP. And this is where we left off. Um, all right. Hold on. One, one sec, one sec. One sec, one sec, one sec. How's everybody's Wednesday going? Hopefully it's going well. Mine was the Wednesday that would never end, but luckily we're here at the end, so it's a beautiful thing. There we are. Click that. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and let me just pop these up here. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um Frig. I do this every every time. Um, we've got we've got a fight coming up. We've got a fight coming up. And uh, if I'm understanding it right, it's not just a fight; it's a uh, series of fights. That's all. Purple Triforce, yes. Lavo sh spawn. And we're not gonna fuck around here. Let's, I mean, needle disorder. Well, I didn't think it was a problem, but when you put a name like disorder on it, I can't help but feel personally attacked. We're gonna just not waste any time and see if we can't uh, take this thing out quick. Alrighty, that didn't quite do the trick. What? Perfect. Let's go ahead and do this. Maybe... Oh, that was beautiful. One of these. Let's get an aura. Right off the bat, we are... Um, we're doing okay. This thing does a lot of damage, no doubt. And this is only the first in a series. Oh no, I don't like, I don't like that. That's not too bad. Let's get Frog on the Cure All. What is that, Cure 2? No. Heal? Yeah. And that'll do us good here. Bow. Attack. Go ahead and give Toad an Aura. And I have a feeling a lot of what's gonna end up happening. <clears throat> Excuse me. Happening in this final section is HP management. Good counter, Chrono. Good counter. 
Let's leap slash the beak. Bada boom. I mean, 899 wasn't really that much better than his regular attack. If I'm being, uh, if we're being honest with ourselves. Um, we probably just need a regular aura on Chrono. There we are. We could probably afford a haste as well. So how's everybody doing? How's, I mean, we're... It's not really much uh, dilly-dallying on this stream. It's like we're jumping straight into it, but that's kind of the nature of uh, where we are in the game right now. What, what does a regular Chrono attack look like? Dead? No, not dead. That's a crit right there. 784. Pretty damn good. If only his spin cut would do 1400. I mean, it says two times damage, but I feel like it never crits. Let's do another one of these. Uh, spin cut. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, there we go. Um, wait a minute. Should we save? I mean, we have the opportunity to use a uh, shelter and save, so let's do it. To avoid, uh... To avoid headaches in the future. Plus, I mean, it's not like we're gonna be able to... Wait, what? Stop. Organize. Organize these things, please. There you go. Why are you, why are you like this game? Why are you like this? There we go. Boom. And we're gonna save. And then we're gonna go back up. Bow, 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 bow. Yo, so, I'm pretty stoked. Pretty hyped for Metal Gear Solid after this. I'm, uh oh, panel. Yo, what? I didn't. I didn't ask for no friggin' panel. Ice water. But um, I made some. I made my bump. I made my standby, my BRB, and my episode thumbnail. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty stoked. I think for the future I might uh, just stream making those. All right, let's see. Slice him and dice him. Uh, what? Sorry. I do not appreciate the 19 damage. Let's do water two. We're just gonna do all AOE here. I mean, we've got like five panels. Sounded like one of them died. Behind the scenes stream. Also, is it loud or is it too quiet? What's the what's the hear no evil emote mean? I'm confused. Is the game too quiet? Is the game not playing music at all? Ooh, we got a couple levels out of that. Hello, Joshua. Welcome to the stream, my dude. Do a little one of these. Oh, no, no, you are, you probably are saying that you cannot hear the stream. Oh, well, I appreciate you lurking, thank you. Uh, yeah, thinking, you know, as I was making the uh, Metal Gear Solid bumps and shit, I was like, you know, I have fun doing it. Um, I'm not very good at Photoshop, but I like I like doing it. So I figured mine as well. Next time I do it, uh, maybe stream it. Oh, what? It's it's a me. It's a you. It's a we. 
Je ne comprends pas. It's everybody. Yo, this is weird. Click in, out. Alright, here we go. The gauntlet begins, I think. This bitch. Queen Zeal. Behold, my pretties, destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been, all the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced. Gone forever. For you there will be no tomorrow, tomorrow. There'll be no tomorrow. <sighs> the dark omen transcends time and space. Waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever. Unless you can defeat me and smash the omen. I mean, I have been getting pretty good at smash. Come, dear friends. Perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare. Yo, I didn't know this was a Nightmare on Elm Street video game. HP goes to one, huh? Right off the bat? That's how we're gonna do this? That's how we're gonna friggin' do this? I see you, uh, one bullshit attack. And I'm gonna frog stomp your ass. Just you wait. Just you friggin' wait, lady. Wait, what's this? What's happening? Oh, that's Chrono's move. We'd actually never seen that before. That was incredible. Lower HP, greater damage. Let's see it. What's What are we looking at here? God, I love that attack. <laughs> 2,687 damage. Oh, you're gonna heal yourself for 11? Ooh, watch out. If we can get away with it, we're gonna do that one more time. Frog squash, baby! Alright, alright, alright. Um HP goes to one, huh? That's awfully friggin' rude. What if we did one good arc impulse? You know what? That's probably a waste since Frog Squash does like just as much. So let's spin cuts. I mean, we really can't afford to have anyone die. Does the only attack she do lower everyone to one? Well, she's dead. My, my powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the mammon machine. Um, one second, we get a sip of tea here. What on earth? Mammon machine. And we're all at one HP. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Loppies. 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 That should at least give us a head start. And then we're going to uh, heal. And then we're going to... Wait one second. And we're gonna Aura... Whirl. And hopefully that'll bring us back up to full. Also, it looks like the game is a little bit louder than normal. Let me know if it's overwhelming. There we go. Full friggin' health, boys. Let's do this. Um, word on the street is I should use magic against this MNE. The C in an enemy. What is this thing supposed to be? Let's do lightning. Uh, yeah, haste yourself. Why not, girl? What else we got going? Maybe we should save for, yeah, let's wait for Glacier. We got it. Smack it with a Glacier, sink it like the Titanic.
How's your Wednesday been going, Joshua? Oh, no, no, no. Let's do... Who's ready? Just you? Uh, wow. I mean, that seems pretty bad. Well, I don't, the counterattacks... Oh, Mammon stands still. That makes me nervous, but... Okay, so we shouldn't do Glacier because it's our only two healers that do it. So let's keep tossing out... Ooh, no. Water. Lightning. And then Cure Toad Boy. 60. Mammon M. Bit low, if anything. Okay, okay. Good to know. Thank you, thank you. I had to fiddle with it during the uh, multiplayer uh, stream. Because of Discord fun. What's this? What? What is this? 200 damage? I could cure that with an aura. I, I am unafraid. Ooh, I love feeling productive. How's the doggo? I heard learned that today was National Love Your Pets Day, so good on you for taking them to the vet. Hopefully, there are no issues. I do love my cats. So, I'm happy to celebrate that on any given day. Does she have any kind of protect? No. Ice it. Ice it! Ugh. Valley Fever. Yo, what the hell is Valley Fever? I ain't even ever heard of that. Poor doggo. No one likes a sick pet, dude. That's the truth. I guess if you're a real piece of shit, took his eyesight. Aw, poor little guy. <laughs> Does he, like, hilariously run into walls and stuff? I know. Boohoo. Oh, engine sounds, huh? Yeah. There's a lot of dogs when I was skateboarding in my neighborhood that used to go, like, ape shit when I would uh, skate around, too. Felt kind of bad. <laughs> oh my god, that's so, like, adorable and sad at the same time, dude. Ooh, let's, uh... Cautiously slow. Do you ever put sunglasses on him? Do you, are you, does that make you your, your dog's service animal? You know what I'm saying? Let's, uh, let's not fuck around. Let's do one of these. Well, I hope your dog is okay. I'm sure you're taking good care of him and he's in a good home, you know? That's what counts. The love we share, be it human or aminal. Is anyone hurt enough to need a heal? Yeah. Toad. I'm Mr. Toad Miser. I'm Mr. Water. Feels pet. <laughs> yes. We haven't taken our cats to the vet in quite some time. We're uh, n pretty a little nervous about it, but you know it's one of those things you got to do it. I under we understand this, but you know, we'll do it. We'll do it. Let's see. Shit, we're kind of low on uh, ethers here, huh? Wow, dude. What is just like... He's not doing a terrible amount of damage. I mean, let's just arc impulse him again. What do you, what do you, what do you say? I think he's got a lot of HP. Mm. 
modifies all energy. What the fuck does that mean? I guess we're about to find out. Dead, let's go. Two down, baby. How many more to go? Here. Whoa, that's cool. All your base. Couldn't help myself. Mm -hmm. What? What? What's happening? You again! You cretins! I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe. Vorse! <laughs> Forever! You will not get in my way. Indulge in such regrets in the next life. Uh oh. Whoa, what? That's awesome. Looks like she's give it, flipping us the bird with both hands. Uh, what? There we go. Attack the face, dude. I don't want to attack those hands. What if she flicks me or something, you know? Ooh, let's go. We're gonna need, like, a, a shit ton of, uh... Ethers. You know, we should save... Well, Frog has a ton of mana, so let's just... How do I... There we go. Just attack the face. Yeah, attack the face. And then you be on healing duty. And uh, let's see if we can't just do this one super straightforward. It might take a lot longer, but I think it's a lot less risky as well. However, Toad is pretty hurt. 56 is nothing, though. Attack. Attack. Star of David! What, what are you doing to me? Whoa, that's not good. Okay. Um, that was a really good attack, though. Alright, so who needs... We need... We, okay, wait, oh, wait. Let's do Aura Whirl. Let's do one of these. In case, because this isn't going to heal everybody all the way. It might get Marl, but. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now we need Toad. No, we need Marl to use. Uh, oh, no. Counterattack on the hand. Well, good. It didn't flip me the bird, so that's good. You just, uh, you keep attacking, my, do my dude. My, 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 my dude. There you go. Uh, you keep on, oh, keep on attacking, and then you... Maybe give yourself... Yeah, give yourself a Hyper Aether, girl. Yo, that really hurt Toad, huh? He's got the HP. Go ahead and... Heal. Uh, Slurp is your only fucking cure. Well... There we go. 92. Dude, she's had, she has a ton of mana. Alright, Chrono is next for the Hyper Aether. What are these hand signals? Dude, say what you will about the Queen. She's got fabulous fucking nails. Um, Just attack. Just attack. Cure. Chrono? That mask is also, like, on point. Although the eyes are definitely not where they're supposed to be. And it makes me feel a little uncomfortable. Like, I'll take that 38 damage hit all day. Like, it doesn't even bother me. The thing... Okay. I made a complaint about my... There it is. I've had throughout this game is that, like, when you're attacking, if there's a text bar, you're kind of flying blind. And it makes it very difficult to see what the fuck you're doing. There we go. Attack this face. Oh, and it's the Star of David again. Okay, that one really sucks. 
Let's do... Well, we can do an Aura Whirl. It likes eight damage. How dare you? It's like you have no respect for me. We'll do this. And then when it comes Toad's time, he'll heal. Actually, he doesn't even need to, so he will just attack. Whoa, HP to one? Oh, fuck, dude. Okay, this is very bad. Um... Well, he's dead. Well, fuck, fuck. He's dead. Wait, was that mana? He took all my mana! This bitch. How dare you! Back on your feet! You know what, you know what it's time for? Time for fucking frog squash, dude. Uh. Oh, baby. Wait, what? No! No! I just got my mana back. Ooh, zero damage. I like that. Shit, dude. Okay, that's pretty bad. Let's, um... You don't have no mana! No! No! Not like this. This is some bullshit right here. Search your heart, you know it to be true. Uh... No, uh... Life to frog. This is gonna be tough, y'all. <laughs> There's not much to do on stream, but it still might take us the whole all night to get it done because this clearly is gonna be an uphill battle. Because what I'm, I think like once we defeat her, we get to fight like a, another Lavos piece that has like 17 fucking phases. Excuse me. No, it's this one. This is the worst one. All right, we need to. You know what? This is what we're gonna. Uh, let's do this. All night long. All night. Yes. Yes. You know what Marl needs to do and hasn't done? Stop! We haven't seen this one yet. Okay, it's it could have been a lot worse. I'll give you that. Oh, uh, you have no mana. Uh. Tech, cure, toad. You know who does have mana and is like not using any of it? Chrono. Let's start doing some spin cuts and seeing if that does makes a difference here. He's doing 700 damage without it. Let's see how much damage he does with it. 11 damage. Attack the face. Hexagon missed water. Yo, I'm gonna. Why does she get to attack like three times for every one of my attacks? Get the Pope on the phone. Hello, Mr. Pope. It's not fair. Uh... You know what? Full tonic chrono, my dude. Oh, let's go! Oh, wait, the hands are still alive? That's... that ain't even right. Uh... I didn't know that the hands were gonna be chillin'. I thought once we killed the face, that was it. Lefty.
What do you- what? Oh my god! Oh. Okay. What? What now? How dare you insects come after me? Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power. Should we tell her? Uh-oh. What's this? What are, you, what are you doing? Get your blue light out of out of my friggin' planet, lady. <laughs> At last, Lavos awakens. Compared with him, you are like germs. But I, I shall obtain immortality. Should we tell her? Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. It does look like a Christmas tree. A cyberpunk Christmas tree. What? It's gone. We destroyed it. It destroyed itself? Something happened. I don't why did it flash back to that? Nothing was there. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Lavos enters attack mode. Uh I don't know about this. Oh, hey, I remember you. Wait, what? What are... What? Does this give me an opportunity? It does give me an opportunity. Okay, let's do some... Let's do some management. Uh, heal. 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 Let's not mess around here. Bada bing. Here. Here. There you go, bud. Uh, where are we at on mana? Let's do... What do these do? Restores MP, HP. Well, I probably... Mm, yeah. Restores Mega Elixir, HP, MP for all? Yo, that's insanely good. We should have been using that. Lopies, yes, of course. Shield, okay. And then the other useless items. Okay. Uh, we have, like, a ton of these. How much... What does it do? Full? Yo. So let's not fuck around. Let's, uh... Let's burn these. There we go. One more. Okay. Is there... Can I save here, or what? Does that answer your question? Fuck. Okay. Um... Hi. Hello, Mr. Lavos. We would just like to sell you some Girl Scout cookies. No, you don't. You don't want any. Okay. The parts on the left restore HP. Well, then we should attack the parts on the left. Holy shit! Did you see that? Fifteen hundred damage. Lavos changes attack mode. What do we got now? I vaguely remember this boss. What is happening right now? Alright. At least it's giving us the opportunity to, like, use items and shit before each phase. Uh, no. How dare you do four damage to me? I feel insulted. Oh shit, you can also, I imagine, swap party members between each phase of the fight. Not that we'll need to, because we have the most winningest party comp of all time, but still. Um, let's go. How do you feel about a... Lightning, how do you feel about ice? And how do you feel about water? Ooh, you know what we should do? We should save up for the glacier. 
Nice. Yeah, let's wait. And let's hit him with the Titanic sinker, baby! Do you have, like... Is this all magic damage? I don't want to use 20 friggin' mana. Ooh, you see that? Dead as fuck. Okay, uh, I don't think we could need to swap parties. Full disclosure here, um, I still have the webpage open from last time when we were doing side quests, so. I'm a, I'm a dirty old cheater, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, how dare you? How dare you? Water gun! Down here! What? That's the worst boss. Oh my god! All 80? All friggin' 80? Oh, you're pouty? Hey, I'll close it. You just say the word. I healed him. That was a mistake, clearly. Wait, is the top half already dead? That's why. Uh, stop, please. Ten damage. How dare you? How could you? Problem is, like all of these fights had some kind of very specific gimmick to them. How the fuck am I supposed to remember all of them? What was this guy's? Do you remember this guy? Uh, I don't remember that guy. Who's got the zero? You do. Boom. Easy peasy lemon fucking squeezy is all I gotta say. Let's, uh, arc impulse him. Get fucked. Last sip of tea. Yes, Bear, we know. I know. The problem is, it's like an hour before you need to get fed, so you can just hush. I know, I love you. Alright, what's this one? Oh, this is the one where you use lightning on him, right? So let's not forget, use the lightning. Otherwise, I don't remember, excuse me, anything about it. That's okay, though, because your boy... Wow, excuse me. Your boy has got lightning on lock. Um, I don't remember what else I needed to do, so... Let's do the ultimate support and just haste the boy with lightning. What do you say? Uh, I learned... Learned or relearned or relooked at the fact that um, the new From Software game, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, comes out in like a month. Which um, has me very excited, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Souls series and of, of Miyazaki and all those games. Um, and I imagine we'll probably be like either right towards the end of Metal Gear or, you know, pretty pretty damn close. With what, three streams a week for another three or four weeks? About 12 more streams? This game I beat in less than 12 episodes, so we'll probably beat... Metal Gear Solid in less than that amount of time. I was gonna start Psychonauts as the next game, but I think we're gonna do Shadow Die, tw Shadows Die Twice instead. Which will be like the first AAA game, or modern game that I'll have played on the channel. You know what, I'm sick of your shit. Um, which I'm very, I mean, hopefully the game's good, you know? It's Activision as the publisher, so who the fuck knows? It could be dog shit. But hopefully it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to it, you know. Lavas changes attack mode. So we'll do Psychonauts afterwards. Magus. Oh shit, what was the deal with Magus? He had some kind of, uh... There's like a gimmick to his fight. What was it? Uh... 
he like there was something to do with like specific magic types. We have two water and one lightning. I mean, do we need to bring Luca in? I don't remember, dude. Well, I guess we'll find out. We, the problem is that we, we can't save it in between these fights, which is a huge bummer, dude. Okay, um... I probably should swap out for Luca, but like, who cares, dude? Attack? I don't know what- I don't know- I forget what your- your thing is. Barrier change? What does that mean? It's weak against fire? Or attack it with fire? No. I think that means I need to attack it with fire. We don't have anybody with fire, so let's change the barrier again? Is that how this works? What's it changing to now? Lightning, perfect. Hit it with the lightning. Hit it with the old lightning. There we go. Barrier change. Change the water, I dare you, you coward. Beautiful. You know what that means, it's time for the Titanic sinker. It's time for the old glacier, baby. Let's hit it with the glacier. Let's go. Oh, the captain, don't you see that giant rock of ice? Don't worry about it. Engines to full speed. Hit it with the glacier. Oh my god, dude. That was incredible. Let's just do that again. Wait, what's this? You did nothing. Send it at him, baby. 1,500 damage. How you like that? How do you like that? And you know what? We can even mid-tonic with our boy Crone. Seeing as he's got little to do here. Until barriers change. So far, so good with this fight. I don't know what to do with you, Chrono, so you're just gonna have to hang out, my dude. Dead? Let's go, dude. Who is it now? Oh, it's it's the it's this guy. It's the Hittites. What's the what? Oh, frig! I don't remember like any of this. Our MP is a little low. Let's, uh, 30, 30, 40, 30, 76. Okay. Two of those left. Um, I guess let's kill Dino Boy on the shoulder and hope that that's the right play. Let's not fuck around here. Arc Impulse, baby. Yo, let's go. It's not dead yet, but it cannot... What? Let's see the damage. 11 damage. Nothing. Child's play. What? Psychokinesis. What does that do? Excuse me? What are you, what are you doing? Marl, how dare you? Marl, how could you? Holy cross! Azela, break HP down. Not by too much, though. Alright, and then what? Do we just, like, regular attack as to not waste mana? It's only doing, like, four fucking damage, so it can't... Well, 40 is not great. What about a, um... What about a, uh, spin cut? What does that do? What's that do for me? 41 damage is, is not a lot of damage. Not gonna lie. What, how about, what does magic attack do? Hit it with a water attack. Use water gun. 22 damage. 
It's not enough damage. What does this regular damage do? 46? What is this? Just gonna nickel and dime this thing to death? Is that what I have to do here? I don't remember. Removes defense and is strong power. Okay. Oh, right, well, now seems like the time to do this. Hopefully this wrecks his ass. Let's go! Holy cross. Hey! Oh, five? Oh, no. It's counting down, boys. Ew, let's try another one. Hopefully it's almost dead. I kind of forget what the Tyrannosaurus did when it count all the way down. It, it didn't wipe us. I remember that much. We do have, like, a, a good bit of elixir, so I'm not too concerned about mana here. I wonder if Arc Impulse is even... The, ooh. Is the best way to go here. Like, what if we did... What if we did Glacier, and then you, sir, did... Spin Cut. What does that do? 1,200? Okay. If this does, like... Let's see. No, no, it's still... I think Arc Impulse, I guess, is, is still a more efficient use of our damage economy. Oh, I love the counters, dude. Best ring I ever put on in the game. Except for that one time where it fucked us over. But that was one time! Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Let's go. Yo, it's dead. What next? Oh, it's this guy. It's penis chest. Shit. I don't know. I forget what to do about this guy too. All right. Well, let's. Uh... I mean, let's go th burn through these first. Uh, just overkill, but whatever. I don't give a shit. All right, those are gone. Crack one of these. There we go. Uh, how are we looking on health? We're kind of fine. Let's just, I mean, better safe. Nah, that's good. That's good. We're good. We're good. Uh, all right. What? One on the right's going down first. Then the one on the left. Then we're gonna kick the faces. Just kick its ass to high hell, dude. Um. Uh, all right, let's go. Two-part attack. Pair blaster. Let's see what the damage... <laughs> oh, how cute. No, no. Look how many freaking times it gets to go. How dare you. How dare you insult me with your low damage. Get shrekt. Welcome to the bone zone. God, this music is so good. Oh, let's go. Oh, one hit KO. I love it, dude. Now you go. How? You know what? Oh, would the counter kill him? That would be so... Oh, it didn't. But it would have felt so good. <laughs> All right, so he needs a heal before we continue. So what we'll do here is... Do a... No, not a double technique. Not frog squat. Leap slash. Spin cut. And then we'll get Marl on the cure. Michael Scott's fun run for the cure. Boom. Let's go up here. ba da 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 boom baby. Let's go. You know, I'm not saying that Lavos isn't intimidating, so don't don't get the wrong idea here. But of all the bosses we fought in the game, I mean, it kind of just looks like a snapping turtle with extra feet. You know, like, this thing's supposed to be the eater of world. Parts restoration. Excuse me, I did not give you permission. Like... Ancient elder gods that are, have the power to destroy that kind of thing are supposed to make you go insane just by looking at them. And this dude, I'm just like, I've seen these things in the creek behind the house. You know what I'm saying? I mean, be careful. Don't put your hand anywhere near him, but... Fine. We'll smack him. 
like a lot of the bosses it's replicating are scarier than or look scarier than the boss itself I'm, I'm sure i'll be singing a different tune when it actually comes time to fight the real lavos itself but i ain't scared ba 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 2901 ko too easy how many more bosses did we fight in this game <laughs> This boss rush is kind of cool. 2890, so good. Oh, oh! I've seen Snapping Turtles IRL. Granted, I haven't, I haven't seen one the size of my face. Okay, what, what do we, can I leave? No, can, cannot leave, do not try. What if, hmm, what are we, what are we looking at right now? Health is fine. Well, health is mostly fine. Is this the final fight? Are we walking into the final fight of the game with no save point? Um, if so, I'm a scaled. Let's... I mean, let's just use an elixir on everyone. Well, let's go through the shitty equipment we'll have. Because we'll never use it in the fight. It's not good enough. So there we go. Full he full heal there. Um, this kind of seems like a waste, but fuck it, right? Like, who cares? There we go. I mean, I I think this is it. Look how inviting his ma is. Don't you just want to give him a little kiss? Lavos. Destruction rains from the heavens. Not a very fair way to start the fight. Okay, that's a lot of fucking damage compared to the, like, baby attacks you've been giving me so far. We only have one thing we can attack. Twenty-nine. Seems pretty good. Chaotic zone. Chaos. Okay, that's not too bad. Counters, let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and get Frog to heal. And then get Chrono. Spin Cut. Beautiful. Let's see what this damage looks like. 700, it's alright. It's alright. Let's go ahead and haste our boy Chrono. He's gonna be going too fast. I probably should have done Marl. <laughs> Oh well. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, uh, we're gonna come over here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Marl needs a heal, but I don't think they're gonna- Hopefully he's not gonna do more than 400 damage in a single attack against her. Uh, attack, spin cut, cure, boom. Easy money, dude. Eight fifth. She's so good. This is really just like all star party right here. That's awfully rude of you. Spin cuts. There we go. Easy peasy. Haste yourself, girl. That's what I like to see. Oh, it's so fast. So fast, we're all we're just gonna do a regular round of attacking to show them that we're not afraid. Hoppity hop, motherfucker. Uh oh. Okay, that was that was counterattack. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I love it. Eight hundred damage. Four hundred and thirty-eight damage. We're at twelve hundred damage. Another eight hundred. That's two thousand damage. Let's go. Is that it? Ooh. Yo, there's a butt where its head used to be. Unbelievable. Will that never be an end? This. This be only armor. Well, since when does he. Whatever. Tis what's inside that must be destroyed. Well, they're going inside. The mad lads. What? Whoa, we have a save point at least. We're in pretty deep. 
This is creepy. It's worse than Magus's place. Ooh. Hold on, I gotta bump the volume just a little bit here. On the game. Are you hearing? Dude, that's creepy. Oh, it's even worse when you're in the menu. Let's uh, organize. There we go. Let's save at a different uh, save point. Yeah. We're in two. Oh, God. Question mark, question mark, question mark. <gasps> Where does this take us? Mm, okay. Uh-oh. What did I do? I didn't mean it. What at? What's happening? Wait, what? What the fuck? That poor old woman can finally rest now that the black homan is gone. She's reverted back to a human. Now it's time for you to access the gate contained within that bucket. You fight not just for yourselves, but for all living things. This is a battle between Lavos and the entire world. Well, then they should all be up here helping me out, don't you think? Kind of carrying the weight of the world on our shoulders here. Uh, we can heal up for free here, so we wasted a shelter, but like, really? Who cares? Chrono's almost at 999 health by himself. I'm assuming this is the bucket he's talking about, so let's go ahead and use it. Where's this gonna take us? Okay, good, okay. We got the creepy heartbeat, we're back on track. Whew. Let's see what we're working with. Wait, what? This is... This is different. Fight, dude. You're right. For Doan and the others, too. Come on, Masamune. Hell yeah, dude. Look, a hole. We've been through this. Yes, 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 we know. Alright, it's time. No more fucking around. Let's do this. We're in pretty deep. Yes, we know. I just crib out. There's the, there's the music. I don't think there's any treasure here. Oh, maybe now we're gonna get the real creep. Oh, baby, I'm excited. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Yes, this is much more. This is what I'm talking about, dude. This, this is Lavos. He looks like a Saiyan. Cyrus, this be our finest battle. Okay. It does look like a DVC character, dude. Well, it is the same uh, art style throughout the whole... He's got nipple lasers! Excuse me? Oh my fucking god. Do you see how much fucking damage he just did? Yo, this... This is... I'm scared. Um... Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. It ain't right. Okay. Still ain't right, but we'll get we'll get over it. Um Leap slash the right arm. Spin cut the right arm. Uh, my strategy here is right arm, left arm, head. I don't know if that's right, but that's what we're gonna try. Um, cure Chrono. And you know what? For the sake of... For the sake of doing yourself a favor, heal yourself. What superpower nipple lasers? 100% Joshua. Have you ever seen laser farts? If not, do yourself a favor. Jack Black is in it, that's all I'm gonna say. Leap Slash. God, this music is so good. 
Uh, actually, you know what? Let's... Yeah, ounce of prevention here. Hopefully he doesn't do a party wiping move. But with the haste on Marl, she will hopefully be able to take care of all of our health woes. And then, yeah, just keep on the right arm there, bud. You keep on the right arm there too, bud. And then you... Cure Totorino. And you know what? Cure is a waste of mana. Should have been using uh, Aura. It's fine. It's fine. We got Elixirs up the ass. I am confident. I'm feeling good. Laser beams of doom. Nipples out. I'm feeling less good immediately. God, those nipple lasers do so much damage. Okay, Marl, you're still hasted, so you gotta take care of our, our boy, Toad. Meanwhile, right arm is going down. As long as we don't get any more nipple lasers, we'll be fine. Uh, don't even fuck around with Ara. Give him the full cure. And then you, Leap Slash, my dude. This looks like if Cthulhu and the Saiyan, like, fused together. Ooh, 900 damage. That's pretty damn good, eh? Spin cut. Tech. Aura. Chrono. Let's go. Tech. Leap slash. Arm. Tech. Uh. You know what? Let's get. What else you got? Let's haste. Toad. It's going well so far. Two times damage. Let's get this arm dead. And you know what? Let's shield. I don't remember which is magic, but we'll do that. Nice. How much HP does it have, dude? Oh, it's got, it's got, it's down. Not the head, I'm not ready for the head. 19 damage, what? Engaging main body, I don't like, I don't know, I don't like that. What does that mean? Oh, I'm a scared. You know what? We're all in. It, what? That's okay, we only did 15 damage to it. <laughs> It's doing triangle attack! I didn't know I was in geometry class. Okay. Oh no, Toad. Okay, it's okay. We're going to... I, I couldn't read that because I was too busy trying to not die. What did it do? 22 damage? I could do that all day, baby. Let's go. Hopefully the arms don't regenerate or I will be a sad boy. Nice. You know what? Okay. Uh. No, no, no. Spin cut. There we go. Who needs a heal? Chrono. I can't tell if the haste has worn off because of the shield and barrier. Tech. Leap slash the hand. This music is so good. No, I didn't get it off in time. Ouch. Okay. What do you mean, freeze stop? Did it work? Is he stopped? No, thank Christ. Okay. Um. Do one of those. Okay, doing good, doing good. No! How dare you. How dare you? I guess our status preventing helmet. Span death arm revives? No. Actually, that's the perfect. Just do that every turn, you dingus. Do this. Do this. Beautiful. Fuck 
fucking beautiful. That Masamune fully- Oh, let's go, dudes. Now is the time to shine. Do not surrender without a fight. Do not go quietly into the night. Here we go. Just fuck him up. Oh man, this is it. Obstacle! I didn't know I joined the Marines. What does it do? Uh, oh no. It's very important that we heal our healer. ASAP Rocky. Alright, heal. There we go. What do you need? Why don't you haste our... You know what? No. Why don't you... Where is... uh? Toad seems to take the most damage, so let's just get him fully shored up. I don't, I don't, what is this? What is this attack? Fart damage. We'll do Aura. Yeah, Chrono. Leap Slash. Yo, I'm like zoned in here. We gotta... Hit the third eye! 896, not bad. Let's do another Aura on Toad. Spin cut the face. I have a feeling that once we defeat this body, that's not gonna be the end. We're gonna they're gonna pull some sneaky shit on us. Flame battle! 43 damage! How dare you! You know what? Boys and girls, let's go. We're gonna holy cross his ass for almost 3,000 damage. Shadow Doom Blaze. That's new. At least we're not getting nipple lasers anymore. What the fuck? Yo, not cool, bro. Heal. We're gonna wait for Aura Whirl, and we're gonna do that. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're gonna fucking spin cut his ass, and we're gonna Aura Toad, who is then going to heal. No, who's then going to cure to Chrono. Nail biter. All right. Uh, oh, you know what it's time for? Arc Impulse, baby. Dare we? Dare we? Let's go. Toad is gonna need some mana, but that's fine. Oh. You're gonna give yourself the mana, however. There you go. You just keep spin cutting. Uh, who are we, who are we even selected as right now? Obstacle? Easy peasy. Oh, the counter. Oh, wait. We need a... Uh... Good thing we have all those heals, yo. This could have been much worse for us if we didn't. Um. Okay, you know what? Uh, where is it? There it is. Spin cuts. Easy money. So far, so good. So far, so good. Shadow Slay, aka Fart Attack. Alright. That did like nothing to us. I don't know what it does, but it didn't appear to affect us too bad. Chrono is gonna need to give himself some mana. Actually, Marl can do it for him. There we go. Flame battle. Leap slash. Nice. Spin cut.
Do we need to heal? Um, no, but yes. Just like the pirate meme. You know what I'm talking about. I'm waiting for the like... <gasps> Did you hear that? What now? Yo. What? What are you? Is this Half-Life? Look at its soft-shell crab arms, dude. It's humanoid. It seems like it has collected all of the vitality from the creatures who have lived on this planet. Are you saying it's the reason we're all here? It, it's too much to bear. We have been reared like animals. Our lives have been for naught. This is Kronos, and ours, leans, and dones, everyone's. And I mean everyone's world. My life retaineth its meaning. We have it our own will. Look at Kronos' Goku hair. What? Um, um, time, what? Time warp. Let's do the time warp again. What? Okay, that's not too bad. The counters, let's go. 42? We're switching it up here. We're doing left, right, then body. No, we healed it. Yo, I really don't want to have to do that whole thing over again. It sings to us! Okay, uh... What the f What do I do here, yo? They didn't even give me an opportunity to heal my party. That Okay, so that worked. Will a spin cut work? Who needs heal? Okay. Chrono needs heal. Actually, everyone needs heal. She should have used the Loppies. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, time warp. I don't like that. Okay. Honestly, this is the creepiest monster we fought the whole game. Like, what the fuck is it? What is it even? Like some Dr. Moreau shit happening right now. No, not my mana. Yo, it's dead. Does that mean we, we focus on the right? It's it's launching the moon at us. What? Is that the metaphor? Is that a red blood cell? Oh my fuck, that was so much damage. Where's the lapis? Fuck, five damage? That's not enough. How much do we do to the regular body? Three ninety seven? Okay, maybe the regular body's the way to go. Shuts off defense. Does that mean we can attack the right? Okay, let's try attacking the right again. Let's try Arc Impulse. No, last time we did that, it fucking healed it. Let's, um... Let's just attack this and see what happens. You two... What if you used... No. Let's just see it. I haven't used it in a while. Let's go! Defense down! Let's... Dream us ultimate magic attack? Uh oh. Oh no, it's a 3D Triforce. It's a D4. Oh god. 
That's okay. Chrono and Marl are going to do their group heal as well. And let's hope that that uh, takes care of some of this. Where is it? Aura Whirl. Let's go. Back in it, boys. <laughs> hey, did you die me? Not yet. Not yet, Joshua. We're still in this. Activate life revives the lava spit. No, how dare you. If you revive it, we will destroy it just like the wall. Fuck you, bud. Let's get a cure on a toad, man. Yo, do you see the statues behind it? Leap Slash. Invading Light. What? 200... F Yo, Toad needs Barrier. Toad needs Shield. Toad needs everything he can get, dude. Dude needs some help. He's hurting. Oh, let's go, dude. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give him a helping hand. We're gonna Barrier. We're gonna Shield. And then he's gonna heal himself. Time Warp again. Yeah, why not? Is the right half's defense still down? Yeah, it is, dude. Act activate life, decrease defense power. I have no idea what I'm doing in this fight, but it seems to be working. 778, act activate life. Grandstone ultimate physical attack. I don't like that. Oh my fuck, Marl's dead. Uh. Yes. Fuck yeah, let's go. Get it. 900 damage, let's go! Lava's defense power, core defense power restored. Okay, I think that means defense is back up. Cure. Toad. Yo, this is good. I'm having a really good time. <laughs> uh, hidden. Oh, please don't die. Fuck, he's dead. That's okay. Joke's on you. Shuts off defense. What does that mean? What is that noise? We need life too. Uh, who is this? This is Toad? Nine on nine. Okay. Let's do this. We're doing decent damage. Defense down, baby. Um, let's go. Fuck yeah. This all of our training has led us to this moment. Where where are my shields? Leap slash it, dude. 907, let's go. Defense down. Revives the Lavos bit. Okay, we gotta kill it again. Seven seventy six. Decreased defense power. Uh you know what? Grandstone ultimate physical attack. Uh oh. This fucked us up last time. Fuck, she's dead again. Oh no. Please, please, please. Okay. I know, dude. She needs the shield. Time warp. Where's the elixir? Okay. 
Okay. Combo, spin cut. Get this thing. You know what? You need to... Pace yourself, girl, and then... Let's do that. We gotta keep her alive. That one thought we can't let protective seal disable defense status. Yo, we just gave her that defense status, you dick. Okay. Um, you know what? Please don't kill everybody. Okay, good. If we if we take this out with one arc impulse, I will be a happy camper. What's the holy Oh fuck it healed it. That's right. I'm an idiot. Oh no, we're screwed. Okay. All right, what do we do? Toad needs to heal. Chrono needs mana. Marl needs to heal. No. No, dude. Okay, we've got to kill that left piece. Where's our spin cut? He can't do it! Fuck, dude. Please don't kill him, please don't kill him, please don't kill him. Okay. Good, good counter. I really hope Frog Smash doesn't heal him. I'll be very unhappy. Okay, good hit. All right, this is scary. Please don't die, Marl. We need you. Okay. No, we need that mana. Okay, 200, 200. We're back in it a little bit. Uh, Chrono. We've kind of lost control of the fight. We need to get control of the fight back. We need to kill the left piece. What does the song do again? Okay, it's not too bad. Stop with the heels, you dick! Yes, okay. Um, heal our girl, please. I believe she is stopped. Get this asshole. Oh, fuck, he's still got the defense up. Okay, we gotta attack the body. That's okay. It's defended. Shuts off defense, never mind. Attack, attack it again. Wait, who's... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, spin cut. There we go. 788. Defense down. Uh, leap slash. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, Toad's dead. Fuck! Pyramid of Doom. This is this is uh this is not easy, that's for sure. Nor should it be. Um hopefully it's still doable. Did he just bitch slap me? Oh my god, he did! For a lot of fucking damage. No! Please. You cunt. Okay, um... No! Oh fuck, please don't make me do all of this over again, because I didn't save it at the end of time when I should've, and I... Uh... Okay, um... 
Wait, yeah, revive. Uh, cure two. Let's go, okay. Combo. We have got to start whittling that guy down, otherwise it's never gonna die. Cure two chrono. Let's regain control of this fight, what do you say? Also, if you're offended easily by my language, I apologize, but you know, I am who I am. <laughs> There was no option. There was, I remember when we hit the portal after we defeated all of those phases of Lavos and went back to the end of time? And I was like, we could have had a free heal here. I think we could have saved it then, eh? Or did I save it then? I don't remember. Is the defense still down? Oh, hell, she's dead again. Okay. Lava score defense power restored. I didn't know it was it was still gone. Oh fuck, dude. Oh, 400. Uh cure Toad. Let's get a little bit of this. Leap Slash. I have no idea how much damage I've done to this thing. Defense down. Oh, let's cure Chrono. Let's Leap Slash the right guy thingy. The flying radish man. Nine oh five defense down. We're still good. We're back on top, I think, until they do another wipe. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, where's the shield? Shield yourself, girl. Oh no. This is the part I hate. Alright, Chrono, you're up, dude. Spin cut. Leap slash. Let's get it dead before it gets a chance to really strike back here. Come on. Still alive, still alive. Uh. I don't know what this does. Okay, it does a lot of damage. That's what it does. Toad is hurt, but not out. You don't have the time to heal yourself, dude. You have to take out this lefty. Yes, okay. Now, we get to work. No, not haste. Yes, okay. Activate life, decrease defense power. I like it. We're back in it with Toad. Get him. 909, baby. Evil Star reduced by half to everyone? Okay. Um. Cure yourself. Ooh, the counters. I love it. You know what Toad's gonna do? I've got an idea. He's going to Elixir himself. Marl's gonna cure Chrono, and we're gonna be back in the fight. I love it. I love it. 
You can time warp all you want as long as you don't bring your friend back. I didn't see how much damage I just did. Did you? Fuck. Spell random stat? Oh no. Who is it? Who did it affect? Oh shit. Okay, 903 is still really good. Lava's core defense power restored. At least they didn't revive their friend, I guess. No. We need... Where's the heal? Heal. Shuts off defense. Item, heal, chrono, tech. Leap Slash, let's go. Um, who needs a heal? Everyone. Oh, shit. Is this ultimate magic or defense? Oh, he's dead. What did I do? Life two, life two, life two. The Marl giggle, yeah, dude. I love Marl. This party I ha we have right here is is grown on me very, very much. I love these characters. I don't like whatever screeching noise it just did at all. We need to cure to Chrono. Oh, I love the counters, dude. Revive the Lava's bit. I hate that. I really do. That's okay. Chrono's turn's coming up. He's gonna spin cut. This guy. And then we're gonna leap slash the same dude. Who needs a heal? No one. So you know what? Let's barrier shield yourself. Let's kill this mug. A shield toad. It's dead! Ultimate physical attack. Oh, shit. <gasps> they lived! They lived! Dude, the shield! The clutch shield! It kept me alive! Okay, uh, Kiritu yourself. Spin cut this dude. And then Kiritu Chrono. Oh, let's go. Decreases defense power. You know what? You don't need cure two. Regular cure will do. Leap slash this guy. And we're back in business. Dude, this music has got me dialed in. Decreases defense power. I love to see it. You love to see it. You know what we're gonna do for you? Let's get a full ether here. And then you leap slash this mug. Okay, defense power restored. So now we need to attack the body. Shuts off defense, never mind. We're gonna attack this guy again. I mean, why not haste him? Seven, 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 boys. How much does Chrono's regular attack do? Four? Okay, yeah, it's not enough. Tech. I mean, now you gotta just taste yourself. All right, we're back on the other side of the, the- Oh! 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 What? What happened? 
What happened? Yo. <laughs> oh my god. What do we got? Did we do it? Did we do it? Chrono! 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 It's the bells, baby. Bad ending? No, don't give me a Pepe. What what happened? Okay. Oh, you dirty dog. It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. We did it! Holy shit, we did it! Your stay of execution has been cancelled. We must carry out your sentence. Excuse me? Wait, what? What's happening? We've been looking for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Chrono hasn't done a thing. She says Chrono has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? This guy has only ever been in trouble. Chrono's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Huh? Oh, what a jape. Jabated. You saved the future and gave us hope. Chills. You fought Magus's troops and brought peace to the kingdom in the year 600. Chrono beat Reptites! Uh, what's going on here? <gasps> Luca... Luca! Y you brought them here, didn't you? Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean, these are my ancestors and descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom, and my daughter, and you were saving the past, present, and future. Now, for a true victory parade, tonight we celebrate you! Now, Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. Yeah, let's go. Oh, it's the Cybermen. I remember. Come along with Chrono, our hero. Princess Nadia's finally home. At last, Guardia's back to normal. It's a moonlight parade! Oh, dude, the balloons? Oh, the lights! Oh, well, let's go. Poggers is right, dude. Look at all these friends. That's oh, the soda drinking guy. We got his tools back. Oh. It's, oh, it's Melchior. Uh, Marl, you seem to be really like stepping on that dancer's toes. You might want to give her a little bit of space. Wow. Wow. What a delightful conclusion. Let's see. Let's see where else it takes us. Oh. Oh, I'm playing as Marl now. Okay, we did a lap around the parade. Who do we talk to? Who are you? To my mom, you saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you spent more time around the house. Uh... It's a real problem when the person who's in charge of the cat is gone. Oh, sorry. Who are you? The princess is gorgeous. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, of course, you are too. This is fantastic. 
What's in here? Nothing. Who are you? No one. What a dreamy night. Thank you, darling. Chrono, the king says you saved the future. Wait till I tell my friends. Tiban, yum! Lemonade sure tastes great outdoors. Chrono, you have a sip. You are the hero today. I wonder if that's a translation. It's supposed to be booze. What a dreamy night. Thank you, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much business in the weapons anymore. Better like it that way. Victory Parade music. <gasps> Whoa, what? 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 What's going on? I don't know what I'm- I don't- I don't know what I'm doing here. Do I go up here? Oh man, there's so many dancers. What's over here? What's over here? I'm just trying to see everything, you know? Taking it all in. Here's where we stole that guy's lunch time and time again. And we were put on trial for it. Well, not for it, but it was used against us. What's up here? Our friends. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. Oh. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Chrono was strong. Marl too. Ayla have fun. You're my distant ancestors, so you'd better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. Ayla very strong. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now. Oh, bye, Ayla. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lean awaits your majesty. We too shall take out leave. Bye, Toad. Mr. Toad? Long for wells, ne'er were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Oh, how cute. Yeah, don't these things end with a princess kissing the frog? That line probably should have come before she kissed him, but whatever. Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Jaywar? She knows. Knows what? Jaywar was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Jaywar may not exist in the future. Haha, <laughs> please relax. The new future has a place for me. Darn it, Jaywar, don't pretend you don't care when you really are s when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Jaywar will be there in the new future. Big boohoos. Big, big boohoos. Good. Bye. My battery is running low. It's getting dark. Caution, oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Chrono, who hasn't said a word this whole game. Do you remember that talk we had? 
You mean about whether our lives flash by before when we die? Yeah, I get the feeling the entity is finally at rest. Yeah, I feel that too. Time travel. How exhausting. We should dismantle the broom. Its job is finished. Mein Kit. You naughty thing, come back here. Look, Chrono, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Uh-oh. Hey, come back here. Uh-oh. No! Mom! Oh, great, Chrono, that gate will never open again. Well, it looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them? But the gate's... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. I forgot. We have a time machine. <laughs> oh, princess, the king asks for your presence. What? What? I'm so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. Uh, what? It's a bell! Oh, it's the bell. This is Nadia's bell. It will ring across the land. Marl, where'd you go? Could someone please lend me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Uh, what? <laughs> Phew, made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Excuse me? Uh, no, Tavon. Actually, I, I could really use your help. What? Uh, what? Ooh, fireworks. Oh, shit. There we go. Takashi Tokita. Yoshinori Kitase. Character design Akira Toriyama. Wow. The game ends just like it started with fireworks crashing over the sky. There goes the broom. There it goes. Hot dang is right, my dude. What a journey. What a journey. Well, shit. I have a lot, a lot of thoughts and feelings going through my, uh, my brain right now. We're going to watch this. And then I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then we'll come back and talk about it a little bit. Now that it's over, now that it's all finished, I think this game um, deserves its mantle as a kind of timeless... Um, Masterpiece, if you will. I'm, I'm somewhat hesitant to use that specific verbiage. Aw, look! Jaywar found a little Jaywar uh, robot love. You're a... Toad. Whose curse should be cured, but whatever. Pinky bot. <laughs> um... Who is that? I think the game drops off somewhat in the last, like, two hours. Basically, when the side quests start, I think it suffers, like, pretty heavily from a lack of guidance. In terms of guiding the player. Let's see. There was only one area that I felt was incredibly annoying. I, 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 I don't even remember what it was. The fact that they reused the prison sequence, like the prison breakout sequence twice, was a little frustrating. 
Um, I love that they killed Chrono, or that you had the op opportunity to kill Chrono and then still get him back. I'm curious. I love that there's so many, uh, you know, kind of this way or that way moments of the game, like the Chrono moment and, and a few others. Um, you know, 14 different endings. Uh, I think if the game, I honestly, I don't know. If you're someone who, like, really loves just, you know, turn-based JRPGs, and that's a really satisfying m mode of combat for you, then sure, there's probably a ton of replayability. You're gonna play it again. You're gonna see all 14 endings, maybe. For me, uh, I love RPGs. I love turn-based RPGs. I love JRPGs, but the, o the for me, it's all about the boss battles. Like... All the, everything else in between is not necessarily that satisfying. So, when you're talking about replayability for me personally, like going through the whole game, doing, you know, slightly different variations of what you did before, doesn't necessarily sound very appetizing. Um, you know. Uh, that being said, I would, you know, potentially check out some YouTube videos or watch other streamers play this game to, s to see if specifically they're going for a different ending or, or whatnot. I do- it does kinda super bum me out that it feels like a guide is, is necessary for the last side quests. I mean, I know they're just side quests, but they are- ooh, look at that. The end. Beautiful. Beautiful. Slow clap. Crazy boss battle games like Dark Souls, yeah. And, and what's funny is that I think this game has a lot in common with Dark Souls, surprisingly. Like, uh, Dark Souls is pretty obtuse. This game is slightly obtuse in terms of uh, its NPC interactions and who can and can't do things and who you can and can't interact with. Um, they're probably both a similar length of game for first playthroughs. Uh, but... For me, Dark Souls, the con like the gameplay is satisfying enough to make me just dump 300 hours into it like easy. For Chrono Trigger, the most satisfying bits are the boss battles and the character interactions, but we don't, you know, those are s kind of few and far between. I mean, we saw at the end there when we were fighting Lavos and it went through like every phase of every boss we had ever fought and it kind of like went by in a flash, like the boss stress was over r relatively quick. Um, and I honestly think that for a game like this, the open world aspect of it, which I imagine was pretty groundbreaking for the time, now kind of feels somewhat, uh, restrictive is the wrong word, but somewhat unnecessary. Especially when we come out, coming after a game like Lunar, where we played it, and it has still, like, this big open map, but... It's very, like, intentional in where it guides you, and so you never feel like, okay, well, where am I supposed to go now, or what am I supposed to do now? Whereas in, in Chrono Trigger, I can't even count how many times that happened, because it was happening all the time. Um, oh, I remember what part I really hated. It was that stupid fucking racing minigame. Fuck that part. And the fact that you had to do it to go back and forth quickly. Um, we never ended up seeing the sewers. Oh, well. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm supposed, that wants me to do here. Start, maybe? Select? I can't, I can't press any buttons. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess I'll, this is a good enough BRB screen, I guess? Um, so I'm just gonna quickly run to the restroom and I'll be back and we'll continue this discussion. Uh, so BRB.
All right, well, we're still at the uh, the end screen, and none of my buttons are doing anything still. So am I supposed to just, like, restart the console or something? I don't know. Uh, well, let me screenshot that. Um, actually, here, let's let's go back just just real quick. I'll I think. Uh, so yeah, none of the buttons do anything. Let's try restarting. Uh, do, 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 do. how do I do file? I mean, where's the reset button? I can't seem to see it. Reset. Chrono trigger. Ah. New game plus. I don't know what that means. But uh, that's for another time. That's for another time. There we go. We'll transition out of that for now. Oh, you're excited? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just give it a peek. You know, let's just give it a let's just give it a, a little peek arena. Let's see what New Game Plus looks like. Uh, what do we use? Which I don't know which data it wants me to use. I guess we'll do. I guess we'll do this one. Oh, uh, you just start the game over? Let's, um... This is me. Yeah, I mean, I guess you just... Start the game over? We'll get, we'll get to, like, the first save point, maybe, and see what's up. Which should be real quick, so. Because I'm not, I'm not about to start another friggin' playthrough of this, of this game as much as I enjoyed playing it. Bloom. Bloom! Good morning, Bloom. I said, I'm sorry, mama. Down one in the alphabet, or one. Not 100% sure what you're implying there, bud. Aw, oh, Lean's Bell makes such a beautiful music. Get up, butthole head. You were so excited about the Millennials Fair that you didn't sleep well, did you? I want you to behave yourself. Let's get moving, now! All right, Mom, you are all right, all right. Stretch her out. Hey, my little uh, toy is gone, though. I don't like that. Yeah, there we go, Bloom. Level 48. Although I do still have the starter gear. I don't have any of the good gear. But I, ha I got to keep my level. I wonder if the enemies are also stronger and stuff. Finally! By the way, that inventor friend of yours, uh, you know. Oh dear, I've forgotten her name. Alright, Luca. So, if you go one letter down, it's V... Zero, that doesn't work. B V A M M K. That that's not a name. <laughs> um What about M P no, it doesn't work either. Whatever. Luca's fine. That's right, Luca. Don't forget that she invited you to see her new invention. Run along now, be back before dinner. All right. Boom. Oh, and they got to let me keep all my items. I should have saved all those power tabs, although it wouldn't really matter. Oh shit. It let me keep all the gear I wasn't wearing? Or no, let me just keep all the gear and full stop. I mean, look at this shit. Where, what was the counterattack? Rage. We're gonna. I mean, if we were to play, we'd wreck. 
Oh, we'd wrecked face. All right. Now that's actually gonna do it. That's actually gonna do it. There's the world. The pixely, ugly world. All right, all right, all right. Well, that was Chrono Trigger. That was Chrono Trigger. Uh, what was this, episode nine? 22 hours, 23 hours? Um, we did most of the side quests, easy game. You know, it, it wasn't too hard. I We only died, game finished in 20. Um, like, we only died like legitimately once, maybe twice. Um, not too bad. There was a couple hairy moments in that last Lavos fight, which I like. It had a, the perfect amount of edge to it, you know, or if it had a sense of urgency. The stakes were high enough, you know, if I felt like I was in danger. Which is, those are all good things. Those are all things you want to see, um, both in art and in, in uh, video games, which, you know, arguably are art. Are fart. And, um... So that was good. I think that, for me, honestly, I think the highlight of the game was probably that fight. Or, like, when when we boarded the last ship up until the very end of the game, I think, was the, the strongest moment for me, personally. The trial was a really cool moment when you saw that, like, you know... Uh, what your, the choices you made came back to affect you, but you never really saw that come into play again. Not as far as we know. Not not in such a like a direct way. So honestly, it felt. You know what I should do? I should let me swap real quick in uh, my the Twitch dashboard from the game. Uh, there we go. Um. It's it's strange to me that they set in the very beginning of the game and during that whole trial sequence, which was super cool and, and I really enjoyed it. It then never came back. Like it may have come back and it just never told us explicitly. But it was it was that's what I really liked about that segment is it kind of called back witnesses, the things that you had done. You know, like it came back, it, you know, it showed you all of these really cool features. And then if they ever happened again, we don't really get to see behind the scenes like they, they never really bring it back in the same way um i mean a little bit when you got to travel back and forth the time with like the sunstone and the moonstone and shit but again that point to me is a little moot because you needed a, a damn strategy guide to i mean i guess you didn't need it but i would have wasted so much time running around trying to find the right npcs trying to find the right locations like um uh it doesn't do a great job at stuff like that you know you know actually the game would have greatly benefited from a, a journal or like a quest log wherein you could you could um show like show location on map or like a list important npcs and where they are that would have like seriously i think alleviated a lot of the problems we ended up or i ended up having with this game specifically towards the end um but man, what a, a good experience overall. I'm very, very happy that we stuck with it and we did those extra side quests. And I'm also really, really glad that I had the guide. Because I honestly think that without it, my experience would have been pretty diminished. Um, so... It's, it's strange. It's odd. It's one of those things where like I don't usually like to have guides like that. I usually like to experience things firsthand without, you know, previous knowledge of it, especially for games I've never played or or watched before or on Twitch or, or this, that, and the other. So it was slightly disheartening, but I am ultimately satisfied with the fact that we did end up looking up the last few side quests of the game. Because without them, I think it would have been a bad time for me and for you. I think we would have been... Again, running around just trying to find NPCs here and there and the other thing. So we, we kind of alleviated some of the, the pains of that. Um, and I do think that it being open world ended up uh, diminishing it diminishing it slightly. Slightly. I think probably for the time it was super, super cool. I mean, although Final Fantasy had already been out at this point. What is this, 95? So you, you have pretty much had everything up to Final Fantasy. I think even Final Fantasy VI was already out, but I may be wrong. 
Um, but I mean, the first Final Fantasy game is open world. The second, like you, you even more so than Chrono Trigger was. And so it, in this game specifically, I'm not sure how much it ended up servicing the game. Um, just in the sense that oftentimes you'd be like, okay, what time period do I go to? You go to a time period and you're like, what am I supposed to do? Search every single field on the map to try to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. I think, again, that's a place where having a journal, like an in-game journal or a book or, or, or something that you could reference that had uh, locations on map or like important NPCs to talk to would have been very, very cool. Um, I definitely got chills at the end of the game. I definitely got a little bit emotional, especially when Robo slash JR and Luca were saying goodbye. For some reason to me, that was like the most meaningful relationship in the whole game. And um, when Luca is like, you know, spoilers, you, you may not exist in the future. And he's like, don't worry about it. I will even like knowing full well that it's probably not true. Um, that got me. I'm not going to lie. That, that that hit me in the heartstrings. Um, where do I place Chrono Trigger on kind of like my list of, of favorite games? It's a good question. I think... I think Lunar was a much... I gotta choose my words carefully here because I know they're, they're both pretty beloved games, but I think Lunar was a much more start-to-finish more well polished, well written, and overall more positive experience for me. Um, and never at any point in that game that I feel like I absolutely needed a guide. I mean, there are a bunch of things in there I probably missed because I didn't have one, like there is in this game, but to a way lesser degree. Like in Lunar, when you came to an area, you follow it. <laughs> like you just follow the map and it takes you where you need to go. You talk to who you need to talk to. And um, it, it doesn't at all diminish from the sense of discovery, like meeting new NPCs. I mean, it, ha it has voice acting. It had a lot more going for it. And granted, it came out a couple years later, so it had a lot more at its disposal. So I think we do need to give Chrono Trigger a lot of credit. Kyle, where are you, Kyle? Um, for, for doing a lot of the things that it did. Like, sir, Chrono Trigger even now feels somewhat groundbreaking i mean at this point in in our, the, the video game history like we've almost seen it all like things are very rarely surprising to us anymore uh so for something like chrono trigger to even still surprise me you know what is it 20 some odd years later um that's really cool so yeah i think it's hard to say. I, th I and, and now that I'm thinking about it, you know, the other games I've played around the similar genre or on the similar time would be like Final Fantasy VII. I really should play Final Fantasy VI. We'll put it on the list. But uh, my gut reaction is that I like I would I enjoyed my my first when I was young and I played Final Fantasy VII. I remember that experience being so important to me that it, it it's probably clouding my judgment a little bit so that I, I can't say for certain, but I enjoyed that game a little bit more than I enjoyed Chrono Trigger. Now, if I were to go back and play it today blind, I would probably hate it. <laughs> uh, like, especially speaking, like, hearing my own criticisms of this game, where like, it's just this open world mess and you can do anything at any time. Like, at the point in Final Fantasy where you get to that that place where you, you have the world open to you and you're on your chocobo and you're just walking around... It can definitely be overwhelming, and there's like, it's a it's a it's a guy a game where the guide is is it is nice. It's nice to have. So let's see what else. I mean, Jwar, Joshua, you were here the whole pretty much the whole time. What do you think? I mean, had you played Chrono Trigger before? Was this something that you had already experienced, or was this your first time seeing it as well? Uh, if you, I mean, it's a game I have no problem recommending to other people either. You played most of it a long time ago. What did I mean? Ha, seeing it this time through, have your opinions, excuse me, changed at all? You know, I'm I'm curious to hear if you know you had one opinion of the game and then like going through it with with me, uh, we you you know discovered new things or maybe like you took off those rose tinted glasses a little and you. It became less memorable, more memorable, you know. Because I think either is, is definitely possible here. 
I do think the the thing that disappoints me the most about the game is is the fact that they never brought back um, how time how your actions affected the game. <laughs> You're curious as to why you stopped. I mean, you might have gotten to the same point in the game where I did, where you were just like, I don't know what the fuck to do next. I I mean. What do I do? Do I fight the boss battle or do I just like, you know, walk around forever until I, I, I figure out where these side quests are trying to take me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But overall, very, a very positive experience. Enjoyable game for sure. I mean, the side quests were actually really good once you got into them, right? Like, once you kind of started doing them and, and they led you, uh, they handheld you a little bit more, it became a more enjoyable experience when you didn't quite feel so lost. The problem is, I mean, even in saying that, it, it's in and of itself a criticism because, like, what good is a really fun side quest if you can, if the player can never find it? Um, and, like, I understand that a lot of games probably have this, like, especially Dark Souls, and I know we, I, I talk about Dark Souls a lot, but it's, it's, probably my favorite game if i had to pick one i think you know it, it's it's one of those once in a generation type things kind of like zelda kind of like oh, i mean it it doesn't hold up so well in terms of the like its sequels as well as zelda did but you know it's a different era of gaming as well but i think like in dark souls there are so many really beautiful moments that you will miss for like you will miss entirely like, the NPC storylines in that game are fucking impossible to follow a lot of the times if you don't... If you don't accidentally fall into them, which is possible, or if you don't look at a guide or watch somebody else play it. Fortunately, again, that game, to me, the gameplay is so satisfying that I don't mind running around looking for things, seeing what's behind every door, behind every corner, where the treasure is, how to get the treasure, you know? Um, as opposed to turn-based RPGs where, like, for me, the, the the gameplay itself isn't necessarily satisfying enough to, to make me, you know, keep coming back time and time again. Like, uh, as a revisit, it's glorious. Like, I love... Playing this game on stream was was very cool. And, in fact, playing Lunar on stream was obviously, like, amazing for me as well. It's become my favorite way to play RPGs just because it gives um, a sense of... I don't know, just playing... Of all the games to play communally... You know, maybe it could just be because I was raised with brothers and I have a sister as well, and we only had one game console. So when we were playing games, it's basically like, you know, sit and watch the other person play. And either you ask for your turn or you're like, if we swap turns and I pick up the controller, I'm going to have to start back two hours from where I just watched my brother play. So you're like, dude, just go ahead and keep playing the game, you know? Um, and that's honestly why I like Twitch in the first place and, and what wanted, made me want to get started streaming in the first place. And so that's why I, I'm not going to ever stop playing RPGs on the channel, you know, probably. But, uh, you know, that's, I mean, it's partly why I'm so excited for Secure Shadows Die, Die Twice, because, like, oh, 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 baby, a new From Software game that's a single-player RPG experience. Sky is the limit, that's for sure. I think and if, I'm, if I'm looking, I mean... When I started the channel, I knew I was never going to be the type of streamer who only streams to get viewers. But I'm not going to lie, if jo Joshua, like, if you weren't here, I'm not sure if how enthusiastic I would be about it. Be just because without, you know... I mean, I'm an actor, right? So I was trained that even if it's an audience of one, you give your best performance every time. So I'm always going to try my best to do that. But, um, you know, it's, it's tough, for sure. What's funny is that there were some people who came for Symphony of the Night that I think never came back because they, they basically just loved Symphony of the Night. And you know what? I have no... That's cool. That's them, you know? That's the beauty... That's the agony and the ecstasy of the platform. You uh, you either, you know, watch for games you love or you watch for streamers you love or like, what you know, you, what have you. And so... Uh, you know, when we do Metal Gear Solid, I'd love to... Uh, hopefully, we'll get a, a few people in here who just have huge nostalgia for that game i'm looking forward to playing it so you know what let's give let's give like a little taste of my standby screen we'll get this little sneak preview here um where am i here we go check it <laughs> hold on let's wait for the delay there it goes i love it 
I love it. <laughs> oh man, and like this is one of my favorite parts about doing the, the stream as well is just getting a, an opportunity to do stuff like that. Could use one or two of my boxes, dude. I agree, and I, I actually like spent some time looking for more, but without replicating the same box over and over again, these are kind of all the what I could find on uh, ye olde Google. I love Snake in the dead center, though, poking his little eyes out. <laughs> and I mean, and let's not forget, what else do I got on here? This one is another one of my favorites when we got to do this. And I have no idea what, uh, what we'll do for Sekiro or Psychonauts. I'm looking forward to that because... I've heard that game is amazing, and I look forward to kind of experiencing it for the first time. That's going to be great. But, like, even the little Windows 95 stuff I made, I really enjoyed doing. So we're obviously going to keep doing that. And um, depending on what happens with my job in the future, I may be on stream a little bit more than usual for a couple weeks. So, you know, we'll see. Hitting all the ones you never played, that's basically my goal, at least in the beginning here, you know. I loved Castlevania. I can't like I had literally never played a game in the Castlevania series, so Rondo of Blood was the first game I had ever played. Uh and it's it's incredible. It's so good. I couldn't believe how much fun I was having with it. And so I I you know, I ended up liking it a lot more than Symphony of the Night. I I know put your pitchforks get your pitchforks and torches out or whatever, but um I'm very. I was insanely happy with it. Lunar, same kind of situation. I had forgotten I had played it. I couldn't remember if I had played one or two. So, it, and it wasn't until like the end of the game where I, it finally, like my memory finally kicked itself back in high gear. And we'll probably play Lunar two this Christmas. Um, just as like a, you know, we this is the first game I started stream with. So for my streams, my channel's one year anniversary, we'll probably play that play Lunar two. Um, but for Halloween this year. We're definitely doing Castlevania. I'm thinking Super Castlevania 4, for sure. I watched a, a, a couple of clips of that game, and that game looks so freaking good. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited th for S Secure Shadows Die Twice. I think that's going to be a good time on stream. I think... I, I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself... Loot. I mean, we just finished Chrono Trigger, this like epic, expansive, time traveling, beautiful game, um, with music that was bumping from beginning to end. Even though the battle music got a little old, and even though they didn't have any victory music, the big Maria distracted you. Hey, you know who can blame you? Although she is, she is like sixteen, you perv, or even like twelve. I forget how old she's supposed to be. In does this make it the? Uh, here you go. Does that make it better? Next game. Um, Chrono Trigger. It definitely le like is leaving me with the feeling of having read a good book or a good short story, which is a positive for sure. Some bumps along the way. I, it is kind of a bummer that Chrono never talked, but then again, in Dark Souls, your character never talks either. And so, like, in theory, it's supposed to, like, immerse you in the game, right? And make you feel like your character. But the problem with using that logic in Chrono Trigger is that it doesn't really hold water. You don't... There's no character creator. You know, you don't, like, get to customize your character. People refer to it as Chrono, or as whatever you name it. I guess you could name it yourself, but, like... It has a bunch of relation, pre-established relationships in the game that have nothing to do with you. Where versus a game like Dark Souls, where like you start, and like if you want, you can RP that whole game, and it, it's I've done it. It's great. It's amazing. You you create this character for yourself. You create this backstory for yourself, and then you basically get to live that out however you want, and that's really cool. Um, versus this one, you know, Chrono doesn't ever talk. Fine, whatever. But it really did. It made almost all of the relationships with Chrono feel somewhat hollow. Now that I'm thinking about it, like probably the least interesting re relationships in the game to me were the ones between Chrono and the other characters, as opposed to Lunar, where 
you know, Alex's and Lunar's relationship was incredibly important. Alex's and, and uh, Ramus's relationship was really cool. Um, everyone's relationship in that game was really good. The writing was just, like, very, very good. The writing in this game is pretty good as well. Not as good as the music. Not as good as the art direction. The art direction in, in Lunar, or in, sorry, Chrono Trigger, I think is something that um, puts it a step above a lot of, of its contemporaries, for sure. I mean, it does have this kind of, like, let's go back to the... It does have this, like, kind of cartoony, you know, DBZ style. But, you know, it works. It works for its 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 audience, its game design. It has some of the coolest set pieces ever. A lot of the ships, a lot of the more future tech stuff was really, really cool. But again, like, my favorite relationship was Luca and Robo. And then even Toad and his friend slash lover, I thought, were, um... It was a way more interesting relationship than anything Chrono had. Or even, really even any relationship that Marl had. It's weird that... It, it, it That Marl and Chrono, probably arguably the two main characters of this game, had the least engaging storylines. So yeah, I'm not really sure, you know, what that necessarily implies. It's just something that's interesting to me. So very good game. I mean, Super Nintendo era, 1995. Let's look. Let's just do a quick like woo search here. SNS games, 1995. Yoshi's Island, Donkey Kong Country 2, Mortal Kombat 3. Eh, who cares? Let's see, uh, Mega Man 7, not the one, not one of the beloved of the franchises, Earthworm Jim 2, who could forget the Batman Forever game, ooh, Kirby's Avalanche, that game's pretty good, Dragon Quest 6, Mega Man X3, uh, Tetris Attack, I'm just trying to see, ah, Real Monster is the game, interesting, I don't think I ever had that, um... So yeah, not necessarily a banner year for games. Zoop NHL 96, that game was good though. So it didn't really it doesn't like it, it clearly was a cut above the rest for the, for its contemporaries. I mean Donkey Kong Country 2 though. Oh wait, that's Diddy Kong. Yeah. It, Donkey Kong Country 2 is I mean what can we say about it that hasn't already been said? Uh, Rayman had come out that year. Twisted Metal, yo. That was good. Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. It was a great game. Absolutely. But, I mean, that was of an era where, I mean, Mario 2 aside, where, like, every Mario game was still... Oh, wait, that 95 is Castlevania, Dracula X. Look at that, Rondo of Blood. So, Twisted Metal... isn't Wasn't Twisted Metal a BR to begin with? So, I was talking about this the other day with some friends, where... Like, if, did I I played Unreal Tournament in like the early or late '90s rather, and then the Goatee Edition in like 2000, 2001 or whatever. In Unreal Tournament, there is a Last Man Standing mode where it's like literally as much people as you want on a server. So you would have like 99 people on a server, and you could be like one life or you could be like 10 lives. But once you lost them, you're you're out of the game, and it's in a battle. It's Last Man Standing wins. It's a battle royale. Like battle royale isn't a new game mode. It's funny to me that after being on the market for, shit, 20 years about, um, just now it's becoming this cultural phenomenon. I mean, I think that's probably just, it speaks more to how pervasive game, video gaming has become. I mean, there's a lot, there's, we could talk about that for hours, but like, uh, let me just switch the, uh, I'm not sure what's, like, it, you, I mean, Twitch is what owned by Amazon and there's no way Amazon's going to let video gaming die. If anything like I would imagine that a, a lot of what is propelling for the better or worse video games into the mainstream and into pop culture is you could probably draw a direct connection between Amazon and and, and also Google with YouTube. Um but I think YouTube is floundering right now. At least it seems that way to me. It uh definitely does not value content creators um in this or at least it doesn't give them the same types of freedoms that i think twitch does um 
Oh wait, I was gonna switch the scene. What do we want to see? You want to see here? I'll... I mean, I don't want to spoil the Metal Gear Solid stuff, so I might, I might keep some of that behind. What, do we, what else we got going on in here? Maybe we can throw up the ninety-five, back to the ninety-five. Uh, so yeah, the fact that like BR has become this huge cultural phenomenon twenty years after one of the earlier BR games came out is a little crazy to me, and I still think Unreal Tournament BR is better than all, maybe better than everything except maybe Apex Legends because like, I but when we had picked up Apex Legends to start playing it, I was um, as, how do I phrase this? I had incredibly low expectations. I had heard great things about it, you know, but. I had already played enough PUBG and Fortnite to kind of be over it. I'd watched enough people playing those games and the calling and all these other things. Uh, but then, you know, you play it for like 10 minutes and it's like someone who actually knew what they were doing made a video game and you can tell. They did such a good job with that, it's crazy. I, I'm looking forward to that game having more game modes because for me... The game itself is incredibly satisfying to play, but again, the game mode I don't necessarily care for. I don't really care for Battle Royale, to be honest. We're going to keep playing it on Friday night streams, but it's one of those things. Where, like, I really hope, and I think it'd be super cool if um, Apex created other game modes for their engine. Like, if they, if you could play Deathmatch, like, 3v3v3v3 for up to 60 people Deathmatch... I think that would be sick. Could you imagine? Like the top team, the team with the most kills is the winner after like what, however many, an hour or like each team has five lives or whatever, whatever it ends up being for the death match, you know, or a capture the flag version of that game or something like that. Like I would love to see these current BRs have the Dota. Yeah, but Dota chess isn't really chess though, way. Eh? And well, again, it's crazy to me because look at Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament is like the best fucking first person shooter game, multiplayer first person shooter game in my opinion of all time because it has all of these things except for the ability to like split teams. You can I think you could only have two two teams in that game. But like it had everything. You could do deathmatch, team deathmatch, free for all, last man standing, battle royale, you know, uh, you could restrict weapons, you could change, you can modify health and modify damage and modify lives and modify how many captures you needed to win and modify, the, you, like, you could, it was like this sandbox multiplayer shooter game that you could, and it had, like, bots that you could play with too. It's crazy, like, it's not a new concept. Um, and so hopefully Apex will get there. I mean, for a free game, it already, in my opinion, is the best BR on the market. Uh because you didn't have to pay $30 for it for it to be unfinished and broken like PUBG was. And it doesn't have the oh, like uh, unnecessary complications of construction that Fortnite has. I think it's funny, too. Uh, we're, we're getting on a tangent, but I think it's funny how quickly it seems Apex was able to pull the rug out from underneath Fortnite. Like, it's it's... I forget that. Let me look up the studio of Apex real quick before I. Because I know EA is publishing it, but I, I forget who developed it. Apex Legends. I just. I want to make sure. Developer. Respawn Entertainment. Like, they're so smart. And I don't know a lot about the story, but just on the surface level, they essentially were like, why do people like Fortnite? Here are the reasons why. What. Like. But why does it look like you're playing, you know, a Saturday morning cartoon? Not even a Saturday morning cartoon, like a Wednesday afternoon cartoon. Like, why is it a Nick Jr. cartoon with guns? Um, and then you had this other crowd that was playing PUBG, with this, which is like this, you know, annoyingly hyper, quote unquote, hyper realistic battleground. And so it, it definitely felt like there was this whole subsect of people that would have played Fortnite if it had a better aesthetic. Um, but didn't want to play PUBG because of how clunky it was. Like, enter Apex Legends. Essentially being like, everyone who's currently playing Fortnite but wants a more serious... Like, an option that doesn't take itself seriously but has a more serious aesthetic. Uh, and then all the PUBG people are like, I like the PUBG, more PUBG style aesthetic, but I hate the gameplay. Dunk, 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 dunk. Apex Legends. In my opinion, it's better than Destiny. It plays a lot, more, a lot better than Destiny does, too. It, it's like... 
it has such fluid movement, like the ping system, everything in that game, basically all the complaints I had while playing these other PUBGs seem to have been resolved in Apex Legends. So, like, huge kudos to Respawn Entertainment, for sure. Like, I'm still bad as hell at the game, but you can tell that the people who made it put a lot of thought and care into it. Like, I, I do hate that it's in the model of getting people addicted to gambling, a la loot boxes. Um... And I hate that the minimum purchase is $10. <sighs> it kind of breaks my heart a little. Um, but you know, that's it's it's one of those things where hemming and hawing about it doesn't necessarily make it better. And like I'm clearly playing the game. Uh, so what are you going to do? It's, it's, uh, I, it, I hate loot boxes. I hate... I, 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 I think there's something inherently immoral about the way that they let them go like you don't know what the odds are which is already breaking the laws of gambling um like it, in most states and i'm pretty sure it might even be across the whole country like if you have like the lottery or any type of gambling you have to just like be transparent about the odds and in all the video games i don't think any video games tell you or at least not the huge mainstream ones that have loot boxes tell you what the odds are of getting a gear in your crate and they also because they hide it behind this obscuring in-game currency it also is val like it already is valueless because it's just ones and zeros whatever but it's like literally valueless valueless because you're paying for the in-game currency and so there's not a direct correlation between in-game currency and value of what you're using it on so it's not just like oh ten dollars gives me ten loot boxes like even though that may be the case ten dollars gives you a thousand ea bucks you know, and then you spend those to gamble on loot boxes that may or may not have a chance of getting the thing that you want. Um, you don't have to gamble. They also have a shop that you can spend it on directly if you don't like the loot boxes. So I guess, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we got really off topic there. Hella off topic. Sorry about that. Uh, we were talking about Chrono. Chrono's great. I think we've said most of what we had to say about it. I don't think there's necessarily anything dangling. Although... Something I hadn't talked about yet is the three three character party system, which it was pretty new to Chrono Trigger. Although there are a lot of moments in Lunar where you only had three party members, but again, that game came after, so it's hard to kind of compare them in that in that same way. But it did feel, or at least it felt to me, I shouldn't use the word feel because it's not an emotion. It certainly seemed to me that. Once we got Toad in our party permanently, there was no reason to ever swap from Marl and Toad. Like, two healers, one DPS, we were never dying. Like, we're not... It's very hard to lose at that point. Especially because Toad isn't squishy. So, you know, why would I Why would I ever swap him out? It, seems, it seemed kind of ridiculous. And we even tried for like a hot minute there, and everyone else got just murdered they just got mowed down so fast that it like it just never felt quite worth it and so though and that could just be my play style you know i'm sure there are other people who would disagree with me and i'm happy like i'm glad it, it speaks to the strength of the game but for for me it seemed as though once you get marl chrono and, and frog don't switch <laughs> full stop because they're just too good like frog has a group heal an aoe heal he has a very strong regular heal he has incredibly strong physical damage he has good water damage yeah that's true there there was a magus fan but you don't get magus until the third act like you don't or you don't get him till way way later in the game and even then they, they, they don't really tell you that you're getting him and so if you're like no don't insult chrono he just died for everybody eh? I'm going to fight you, you kill him, and then he's gone forever. <laughs> Which I like. I, I actually really enjoy that aspect of the game. Although, the, you know, they don't really tell you that. Uh, that it was even an option. So you could play the whole game not knowing. Um, I, 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 of all of the choices that made me want to go back and change what I did, that was the first time that I felt compelled to do so. Because I just wanted Magus in my party. I thought that was one of the coolest characters in the game. Um, and, it, you know, we didn't get the opportunity to explore it as much. 
Not as good as a villain as Galleon, but still pretty good. <clears throat> yes, no, Joshua, you are so right. Uh, an ending screen telling you all the different choices you made, or, or, or kind of like a Detroit situation. Steal from the old man? Dude, I stole from the old man like a hundred thousand million billion times. I ain't sorry. Yeah, that would be really interesting. And again, like, that comes down the line way later. Like, Detroit Become Human came out last year, and they had that whole screen that showed you basically what every single thing you, every choice you made did and how it affected the outcomes. So that was cool. Excuse me. Finished up my water. Chrono. Yeah, I can't, I honestly I don't imagine, I don't see myself ever picking the game back up. But I, I, that's not a fault of the game. That's just a fault of where I am in, in my life. Like, I guess potentially when I'm like 60 and retired, God willing, if I'm still alive, <laughs> maybe I'll pick it up, you know. If I, don't, I'm not, if I haven't been destroyed by the uh, like soul-crushing constraints of capitalism. If I'm not working until I die. Sure, I'll pick it back up. Until then, probably not. Uh, but I mean, there's so much... Like, This is one of the beautiful things about video games and the video game industry um similar to like music um but even in in some aspects uh more exciting is the wrong word to use just more or uh, lower point of entry is also the wrong phrase it has been around for a lot less time therefore it's the entirety of its history is a much less intimidating experience than other forms of art Chrono Trigger VR, can you imagine, dude? What would that even look like? Because, the, again, the thing really holding Chrono Trigger back for me is the combat. Which is funny, like, I think, so far, and I have kind of have no problem saying this, Lunar is, like, the form of how to make a good turn-based RPG. I don't think any game has done it better that I can think of before, since... Or since, like, or... I'm trying to think. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I can't really think of one, to be honest. For that strict turn-based style, you know. I think games down the line, like, that uh, pushed the boundary of the RPG genre certainly have a case to be made. But I don't, I don't think for that style of turn-based JRPG, there's, there's a better one. I think Tales of Fantasia comes pretty close, but that game is so long <laughs> i've never beaten it but uh i gotten basically to the same part every time and they have random encounters which are just frustrating to me uh but definitely none of the i mean i love final fantasy i think but again my favorite final fantasy game is final fantasy tactics which isn't really a turn-based game as much as it's like a a tactics based more of a board game than it is of a R rpg well, and I love those styles of games, but I don't think they'd be very good material for streaming. <laughs> but I mean, this is what's been so exciting about exploring this, the over like the backlog of, of video games that I've been doing on stream, these games that I have little or no exposure to, is that we're kind of getting to live through this timeline of the video game industry as a whole, and see those pieces those moments where there is a monumental shift there's a title shift um like once in a gener not even necessarily once in a generation type games but th those games that once they are made there's no going back kind of you know like similarly in any f like really any type of art or any type of anything you look at a timeline and you can see these moments where things happen and once they've been said once they've been put into the world like you can never undo that you can't ever take them back be it better for better or for worse and like specifically for worse at the recent times the case of these loot boxes like why does every single nintendo game have to have an in-game currency now what the hell is that all about it's incredibly frustrating um but like for me those games are are kind of what that's what i'm hunting for for it for my channel at least those moments in video game history where there were title shifts in the way that we think about video games 
and what they could do. I think Lunar is a really good example of that. I think Castlevania is, is a very good example of that for sure. Especially Symphony of the Night. I mean, Rondo of Blood I don't think necessarily did anything new. And I think that's probably why it's mostly forgotten. Um, I mean, I think it's the better game, but that's probably personal preference. Um, I mean, Dark Souls. We're not going to play Dark Souls, but that's uh, one of the more recent, more recent memory moments. Metal Gear Solid, certainly. Um, I've heard, you know, we'll see with Psychonauts. I'm really excited about that game, actually. You know, we're all here because we love video games, right? And I really do. And it, there's, it's um, a really interesting medium, and it's it's very satisfying in a way that ways that a lot of other mediums aren't. Instant gratification, multiplayer engagement. Um, you take on a more active role than you do in other forms of media. But uh, it certainly isn't the be-all, end-all. It's just, you know, one more thing. One more beautiful little thing that we get to uh, experience together. Or alone. I think that's part of the reason why the Switch has become so successful. It's just, it's... It, it, I mean, it, Nintendo did it really did it first, too, with the Game Boy. Uh, but... Yeah, one more happy tree. I do like I watch Bob Ross on Twitch all the time. So if you ever if you're ever hanging out in the Bob Ross streams and you see me cracking jokes in chat, say hi. Cuz I'm I'm usually I'm, I hang out there every once in a while. But uh we're coming towards the end of the stream. I appreciate you hanging out Joshua. I know I've just been talking like I I had plans to maybe once we beat the game to start up something else, but I got I, I like doing these kind of retrospectives once we finish a game. We kind of did the same thing with Lunar. We didn't do it quite so much with Castlevania, but it, it didn't leave as much of an impression on me, I think. They're also not the same type of experience, to be fair. I'm very curious about Metal Gear Solid. Very, very curious. Because it's not a genre of game I particularly care for in the first place. It's not that the subject matter isn't something that particularly interests me in the first place. Um, but if we're not open to experience and have those points of views challenged, then why are we even alive? And I'm, so I'm really looking forward to to Metal Gear Solid. I hope that it is, you know, all that in a bag of potato chips. I know I had a lot of friends growing up too who, like, that was their game. Like, that was their Dark Souls. That was their... The moment for them that clicked, and they were like, video games are the shit. <laughs> I mean, for my, my, my dad was a huge nerd, so I was he had a, a computer with Wolfenstein 3D on it and MS-DOS games when I was a kid. So I played like Jazz the Jackrabbit, I played the original Duke Nukem, um, a bunch of other MS-DOS games. So I was, for, I was pretty fortunate in that respect, but I know for a lot of my friends, Metal Gear Solid was like, that was the game. Uh... For some, a lot of people, it was even like Diablo 2. I had already sunk so much time in Diablo 1 when Diablo 2 came out that I was already on board. But trying to go back and play Diablo 1 now is a fucking nightmare, dude. That game sucks. It's so slow. You move so slow. I don't have the patience for it. Yeah, I mean, I th I'm pretty sure the Metal Gear, Metal Gear franchise... What, they just came out with that survival game that is looks just awful. That a couple years ago? Like, like, zombie one or whatever? That's one of those instances where, like, they took kind of... I mean, they took something that was seemingly really... I can't say for sure because I haven't played it. Beloved. It was beloved and well-respected, and they basically just shit all over it till. uh... The thing is, is that they can all be winners. It's just that's not again. We live in a economic and society, like social, like structure that doesn't encourage, uh, like, how do I put this? Yeah, there is an MGS card game too. That's right. Uh, it values profit over quality, right? Like, it doesn't matter if it's good. It only matters if it makes money. 
not there are all certainly so many examples of things that challenge that notion but when you look at these publishing studios and you look at the, the trends of the things that they choose to do that seems to be the philosophy and the, the, the structure is that we, we as long as it makes money and it's true for nintendo it's true for everything unfortunately that like it doesn't matter if it's good it only matters if it makes money i think nintendo of all i hate to say it but i think nintendo of all most other kind of game publishers has done the best job at handling that um but they're certainly not without their flaws like restricting chips not letting developers you know do what they want to do i mean the only reason the sony playstation exists is because nintendo would like pulled control away from them and they wouldn't let them do what they wanted to do like the original playstation was called like the i think it was even called nintendo playstation they were working with sony to create the like a disc based game console and then they backed out of the deal which broke their the contract they had and then it basically freed sony up to create the playstation uh, again a monumental shift in gaming history because the playstation unlike nintendo was like you know what whatever you, it's on a cd man anyone can buy a disc make your game we'll put it on our system we don't care whereas nintendo's like you want to make a game for the uh, super nintendo you have to get this super nintendo game chip and in order to do that we have to review your game and if we don't like it we won't give it to you uh, on it like obviously with the switch that philosophy has changed but I mean, for to its credit, think about thinking about Nintendo's history. Like they have a much better track record than a lot of the other game studios do. You know, for better or for worse. Certainly less shovelware. Not that it doesn't exist, but. Yeah, for, for me personally, you know the profit motive is what destroys the creative impulse that it destroys the the very human desire to like deeply connect with one another but you know i don't want to get too political <laughs> uh, but I, I mean that's what we see like i search out for these games like chrono trigger is one of those games that just makes you that hits you in the feels certainly lunar Castlevania, just in how like satisfying it is to beat, it's really just Rondo of Blood. Castlevania Symphony of the Night is like baby game. Yeah, I mean, you can tell even in my playthrough. By the time I got to Dracula, I should I should there's no I should not have beat that. I just face tanked all of the damage, it was like zero skill required, and then just killed killed Dracula. So I mean, I mean, yeah, that's. I mean, for, for games that give you the, the open playability to just grind and get stronger and stronger and stronger pretty much ad infinitum, you're all, that's always going to be the case. But, like, we weren't, we weren't even doing that in Symphony of the Night. Like, we were really just playing through the game, and by the time we got to Dracula, it wasn't even a fun fight. It was just over. Which is even different than Chrono Trigger, but there were a couple moments in that last fight where like i was really worried that we were gonna die and if we had died we would have had to have done everything over well not everything but the entire lavos fight over um starting you know from before the the big hole appeared that would have been bad but i mean hey it made for good uh good content eh <laughs> i think so at least Hopefully you agree. I had such a good time playing it for the most part. There were a few streams, I think like episodes um, six and seven, seven specifically, where I was having hard, a harder time, but we we stuck through it. I'm really glad we did. I'm glad we did all the extra content at the end and stuck with it and then beat the game the way that we did. I think uh, it really did the game and myself a service. So thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. All right, I think we're going to call the stream here, you know? Uh, so thanks for hanging out, everyone who's here, all you beautiful lurkers. Luca's mom's fine. She didn't die. That part of the game actually did super piss me off, though. Yeah, legs. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
I like the idea of only giving the player character like a split moment to decide, but like they, it was very unclear what my options were to decide. It was just like, oh, this this is happening. God forbid you do a miss, like you hit the wrong button. Oh, too bad you missed your opportunity. That was kind of dumb, but hey, it was a small moment, a very easily missable moment too, because that side quest was hella obscure. But anyway, I digress. Thank you all for hanging out. This was a, a great stream, a great game. Thank you, Joshua, Sarcasmosis, for sticking with me. Thank you for all you beautiful lurkers. Uh, if you're here and you haven't yet, hit that little follow button. I, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate you all. And uh, we'll be back on Friday for a shit show, for a multiplayer stream. We're going to be playing, I think, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to be playing probably duck game i don't know what in the middle and then apex legends at the end uh i've have a few more games under my belt so hopefully it'll be a little bit more of a pleasant experience and we'll have some of the technical difficulties worked out as well so yeah with that i'll bid you all adieu i hope your wednesday night continues to be swell and i hope your thursday is even better i will catch you guys on friday if you are around if not you enjoy your weekend and we'll catch you on monday good night you beautiful people